Hello, welcome back to part 6 of this video tutorial how to build a Pac-Man game in XNA. Please don't forget to buy the content, send 2 euro 95 to PayPal account XNA Pac-Man 2013 at hotmail.com. We send the content in 24 hours to your email address. In this tutorial we're going to start building the animation class. So go to project, add class and we call it animation.cs The first thing we're going to do is copy the statement block OK and we're going to start defining some private variables so private Loads. We need a scale. The scale used to display the sprite strip. We need a private int elapsed time. That's the time since we last update the frame. Then we get a frame time, private int frame time. And the time we display a frame until the next one. Private int, and then we get a current frame. index of the current frame we are displaying. Then we get a color private color color the color the frame we will be displaying right and we get a private rectangle and we call it Sus Rect this new rectangle and that's the area image strip we want to display and that's the private private variable We also have must define some public variable, so let's do this also. Public rectangle, the destination rectangle, destination rect, this new rectangle, the area where we want to display image on the screen. Then we need a public texture, it is a 2D texture, and we call it Sprite Strip.
the image representing the collection of images used for the animation. Okay. Then we get a public int frame count. The number of frames that the animation contains. Uh, frame counts. Then we get a frame width. Frame width. the width of a given frame put in frame height the height of a given frame frame heights. Then we get the bool. We call it if active. The state of the animation. Animation. Then we get another one, public bool is looping so determines if the animation will keep playing or deactivated after one run. Right. Then we get um, a public factor tool for the position. the position of the animation right okay and we get a public float rotation the rotation value for the animation Right, and that's the public variable. Public variables. So, and now we can start building our entity lines. And the first parameter is the texture 2D. Texture, we get a factor 2 for the position. Then we get an integer for the frame width. An int for the frame height. Frame height. Frame width and frame height. Then we get an int for the frame count. 
well and an int for frame time we get the color and the scale looping and finally an int for the start frame a lot of parameters but you never know where it's good for keep a local copy of the values passed in now we're gonna say this color is color this frame width is frame this this frame height is frame height this frame counts is frame counts this frame time is frame time and this scale is scale then is looping is looping the position is like on position and the sprite strip is texture all right set the ellipse time to zero ellipse time is zero and set the starting frame of the animation um, current frame is start frame and finally we need to set set the animation to active by defaults defaults is active is true all right that's the initialize method and in the next tutorial we're going further with this animation class so i hope you enjoy and i see you in the next tutorial bye